The Emmy Awards Matthew Perry in Memoriam segment was a heartfelt moment. However, why weren't the cast members of Friends present? Actor Matthew Perry passed away at home in late October of last year. It was a catastrophe. Among the most remarkable celebrity deaths of 2023 was his. He's been well known for many years. The Friends cast has been compared by many like a family. Why then were they absent? This week, producers of the Emmy Awards discussed with The Hollywood Reporter the reasons behind the Friends cast's exclusion from invites to the 75th Annual Emmy Awards. Yes, having them there might have made the memorial service for the late Matthew Perry feel even more significant. However, it's still very fresh for them, says Gianni Rosenclay, executive producer of the Emmys. Jesse Collins, an additional EP, revealed that they had talked about inviting the remaining Friends cast members. They finally chose to try a more elegant alternative, nevertheless. Collins thought, I can imagine that they're grieving for someone who was still very close to them. Collins went on, I can't speak for them, but we all have to respect that they were their own family. It was probably a bit premature. Perry was obviously not the only unfortunate celebrity to pass away this year. Many others, including Lance Reddick, David McCallum, Francis Sternhagen, and Andre Brar, departed from this life. Charlie Puth sang, See You Again, during the In Memoriam portion, which honored numerous well-known figures and overlooked artists. As a unique tribute to Perry, the song changed to the opening theme from Friends, I'll Be There For You. There were boundaries, Collins reasoned, even though that would seem like favoritism. One restriction was not inviting the cast of Friends to the Matthew Perry Memorial Service. The EP clarified, yes, you have to give some special attention to Norman Lear and Matthew Perry, but you don't want anyone to feel slighted. Everyone's contribution was significant, and this is their moment inside this package, Collins went on. The day Perry died was October 28, 2023. The adored actor was only 54. In his personal jacuzzi at home, he was unresponsive. The medical examiner concluded that ketamine's acute effects were the main cause of death. In the end, the medical examiner found that Matthew Perry's system contained a variety of drugs. Apart from ketamine, which didn't seem to be part of any treatment program, he also died of coronary artery disease, an opiate called buprenorphine, and drowning. Perry's battles with sobriety shaped his life for many years. He made millions of attempts to kick the habit. Perry has voiced his hope that people will be motivated and educated by his personal experiences with substance usage. Despite the fact that some of his closest friends and family members occasionally called Perry's sobriety a lie, Perry did really become sober several times throughout his protracted struggle. Both addiction and individuals are intricate. Because Perry is a person, this implies that he too has a complicated legacy. We can understand why the Friends cast was left out of the special in memoriam, but Matthew Perry's loss still called for one.